Hello all, welcome back. In this particular video, we are going to discuss about Frida, Objection, how you can install Frida and how you can install Objection. Frida is a dynamic code instrumentation toolkit that allows you or that permits you to inject snippets of JavaScript or your library into the native application on your operating systems like Windows, iOS, Android, etc. It helps you by inserting or by injecting these snippets of JavaScript to bypass a lot of things. For example, we can bypass SSL pinning, we can bypass fingerprint, we can bypass root detection, etc. Objection, on the other hand, is a runtime mobile exploration toolkit powered by Frida that is built to help you assess security posture of your mobile applications without needing a jailbreak or without needing a root. For example, you can bypass SSL pinning, you can bypass root detection, and you can capture screenshots using objection. In order to set up Frida and objection, all you have to do is simply run this particular command that is python-m pip install Frida objection Frida tools. You can get or you have to install Frida server. In order to install Frida server, what you have to do is you first have to get the configuration of your device. In order to get the configuration, you can simply run adb shell get prop auto.product.cpu.avi and this is going to give you the device configuration. You can then download the Frida server file by going onto the GitHub repository of Frida and under the releases section for your particular device configuration. You can push the server file to a local temporary folder that is present inside the data folder of the Android device. And you can give the permissions using adb shell chmod 777 to the particular Frida server file. It's the demo time and let's have a look of how you can install Frida. First let's run the command python-m pip install Frida objection Frida tools. For me it's going to be python3. So I'm simply going to add python3 over here. Once installed, you can see that Frida Frida tools has been installed for me. We can verify this by running the command Frida dash dash help. Once verified, we now know that the Frida has been installed. We can now run the command objection dash dash help to verify if objection has been run or not. You can see that objection has been installed properly as well. Now let's get the device configuration by simply writing adb shell get prop ro.product.cpu.abi On hitting enter, we now know that our product or our device is of ARM64. We can now move to Frida's official GitHub repository. And we can go inside the releases section. Inside the releases section, we can search for something that is Frida dash server. You can click on show all assets to get all the assets related to Frida. And we can search for 16.1.3 and for ARM64 version. You can download this .exe file and you can extract this exe file to get the Frida server file. Once we get the Frida server file, we can simply rename this to Frida server 1 or let's say Frida server new and let's push this to our system. So we can give the path name and we can push this to slash data slash local slash tmp. Once pushed, we can simply go inside adb shell, we can write ls, we can go inside the directory, and we can provide the necessary permissions that is chmod 777 or let's say plus x frida server new. Once we hit enter, we can simply run the frida server by writing dot slash Frida server. 
once you hit enter it's going to pause over here do not think that there's some issue with it the pause will stay until and unless you do not have some misconfigurations or until and unless your device has not been shut it down now you can simply write the command for your dash ps dash ua on entering this command you would be able to see all the different bundle identifiers that the particular device has if you are able to successfully get this then your frida tool has been installed perfectly let's try to open diva and let's try to rerun this and you can see that diva's bundle identifier is also visible if it's visible to you frida has been successfully installed on your system so that's it for this particular video i hope you understood how you can install frida and objection in the upcoming videos we are going to look more about frida and objection and how you can use them Thank you.